Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokemon here. Today I have a Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl moveset video guide on how to use Babarel, Luxray, and Rose Raid. I figured we'd do all the early route mons. I already did Star Raptor a while back. I also did all the starters. And Rose Raid and Luxray are actually two Pokemon that have been asked about a lot. And I think one person asked about Babarel, so I was like, alright, might as well do it on the list too. But if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you leave a like, and also if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I upload not only these videos, but I upload Showdown Lives as well as Wi-Fi Battles daily, and a bunch of other Pokemon stuff too, at least two to three videos a day. And if you like that sort of content, feel free to sub. Also, if you guys didn't know, I do have merch available to celebrate Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. That should be on your screen right now. If you want to pick that up, check out the merch link down below. That's available till the end of December. So, we're going to start it off with a barrel. And we're going to go Barbaro, Luxray, and then Rose Raid. So the first set we have for Barbaro is the Swords Dance set. Because Barbaro has three great abilities. It has Simple, which basically um, doubles the effects of all stat raises and lower ones. So basically, if you're using Barbaro in your, in your playthrough and everything intimidates you, you're minus two and everything growls you, you're, you're more than... It's, it's actually really annoying when you're playing through the game, but it's really good and competitive. Uh, especially because there's a lack of Intimidate right now. But um, they're simple, there's Unaware. Unaware is actually better on other Pokemon in my opinion, like Clefable and Quagsire, because Babero doesn't really have the stats or the move pool to really take too much advantage of that. And then there's Moody. Now depending on what metagame you're playing, Moody is banned, but if it's not banned, go ahead and use it. It's a great ability that raises your stats. So, the first set we have is Swords Dance Babero. Swords Dance, Double Edge, Aqua Jet, and Quick Attack. Swords Dance raises your attack plus four because of the simple ability. We have a Life Orb just because your weaker stab, Aqua Jet, and Quick Attacks just can become stronger, especially after the Swords Dance. You could run Adamant or Jolly. I think just max attack, max speed is fine. The thought process behind Jolly would be that you want to be faster than a Jolly Breloom, so you want to hit them before they hit you with a, a Mach Punch, so you can hit it with a plus four quick attack before that. Aqua Jet's cool too because um, it gives you the ability to hit like Gengar, which is a faster Pokemon, and you can hit it for that damage at plus four. Um, your priority is just great for faster Pokemon. Double Edge is cool because basically anything slower than you is for the most part gonna die, right? Like bulky Pokemon like Vaporeon uh, will be smashed by a plus four double edge. So. A Pokemon that would otherwise wall most of barrel sets. So it's a it's a it's supposed to be a Swords Dance sweeper. It's really difficult to use just because it has really low defenses, but you can use this thing on maybe like uh, an Aurora Veil team or a dual screens team with light screen and reflect to help support it, or maybe with like some mental support from Gardevoir or Latios, uh, whatever, or maybe even Sticky Web if you want to go adamant but you want to still have that power, but you don't want to fear them outspeeding you. But uh, yeah, Swords Dance Silver so Barrel. Now, we talked about Swords Dance, and now we're going to talk about Curse. Curse, boosting your defense and attack plus two while lowering your speed minus two. You can actually, I have a, a defensive set that I've used back in the day on the barrel right here, but you could also go like a brave one if you really wanted to with like Trick Room variants. Not with Trick Room, but barrel obviously because it doesn't learn Trick Room, but with teammates that can set up Trick Room like Cresselia or Porygon or uh, Mesprit type of thing, Uxie. Uh, so you can use like teammates that can set up Trick Room and do that. But we have Special Defensive Curse Barrel with the Resto Chesto. Rest plus Chesto Berry means you can wake up after. Uh, and with Max Special Defense, Max HP, you're actually able to eat some some of the basic like uh, special attacks aimed at you. So even super effective ones you could potentially eat as long as they're not like fighting type attacks. But Curse is really cool and then you can rest off if you're getting low or if your opponent has status you with a burn or a toxic and then you have waterfall as your main move that is your strongest move that the barrel basically has besides like double edge but this is your strongest move that the barrel can go for that stab and then you have your quick attack priority to kind of like negate the negative speed that curse is doing to you again careful nature max hp max special defense uh, and i could definitely see this thing working with like a brave on like a trick room type of build uh, if you just want to go max offensive, you could also just go max attack, max HP. I'm just doing this so that way it has better shots of like setting up, especially like physical attackers, it can set up in front of them if it's faster than them, which is pretty cool. Um, or at least for the first turn, because you'll get the uh, the plus two defenses. So the last set we have is again, depending on what metagame you're playing, and shoot, if you're playing on Wi-Fi, you can use this too. Uh, as long as you're not playing smoke on rolls, you can use the Moody Babero. And Moody's really cool because it raises a stat plus two, and then it lowers a random stat minus one. Uh, and you can basically get like max stats with this between uh, protect and substitute. So protect is just to waste a turn and let your moody activate. Maybe you'll get plus two speed, maybe you'll get plus two defense. Substitute also allows you to 
again, waste turns, but also it becomes harder for people to, to break your substitute the better stats you get. So the more defense you get and the more special defense you get, the harder it is for people to break your stats. I went Jolly Nature, max HP, max speed. I think max speed makes sense, especially because you want to go for substitutes before the opposing Pokemon and you can't always depend on getting the speed immediately. Leftovers for the longevity and your two moves Honestly, they could change up. I think Waterfall should definitely be there. You want at least a strong move, especially if the barrel ends up getting plus six, plus six, plus six. You want at least a really strong move like Waterfall, which can also flinch. And then your other move can be like Facade or Strength. It doesn't have Return, so you're not going to use Return right now, unfortunately. Um, but Facade is cool because even the barrel at plus six is still relatively weak. So if something lives a hit and tries to status you, let's say Rotom, Wash lives a hit and tries to will o -wisp you. Well, now you have 140 base power facade that doesn't care about the burn uh, dropping your attack stat. So it's really cool. Uh, it's a fun set. It's really annoying and really gimmicky as well. Good for hazards and whatnot. But depending on what metagame you're playing, I mean, this ability got banned on Smogon. But this ability, I remember using this mod. I remember using artillery with it. I remember using Glalie with it. And it's just a good, it's just a good ability, man. It's just a good ability. So. Next up we have Luxray. Now, unfortunately it's only pure electric type. I would love Luxray to have a secondary typing, but that is not the case. But uh, one of the cool things about Luxray is the fact that it does have the Guts ability, which means that when you are statused, so uh, you get the 1.5 times attack boost. Basically it's the effect or the equivalent of a Choice Band boost without the... Um, without being locked into a move. So Flame Orb is cool because while Burn normally lowers your attack with the Guts ability, it doesn't. So it's really nice. You can go Adamant or Jolly on this, max attack, max speed. Wild Charge is your main move. It's your electric stab. I wish this Mon got Plasma Fist, even though it's obviously like, you know, it's it's, it's the Pokemon it is. Like it's, it doesn't look like it should use Plasma Fist. Maybe Electrovire looks more like it should use Plasma Fist, but even like Volt Tackle or something like this, just a stronger move than Wild Charge because Wild Charge is unfortunately only 90 base power. Which really sucks, like, and if you're taking recoil anyway, at least give me Volt Tackle for the damage. But you have Facade. Facade is your strongest uh, move, or secondary strongest move, just because it's going to be 140 base power always because of the burn. So it's a nice uh, neutral move on grass types and, and things like that. Um, it's actually stronger than uh, Super Effective Ice Fang on times 2 Pokemon and Super Effective Fire Fang on times 2 Pokemon. Basically, Pokemon only weak to... Uh, Ice Fang, you know, two, two times. So like Latios, for instance, is Dragon and Psychic. So it's only two times weak to Ice Fang. So uh, Ice Fang is 130 base power versus Latios because it's double because it's super effective. But Facade is 140 base power. So for the most part, you're going to be clicking Facade and Wild Charge. But Ice Fang and Fire Fang are there because you want to be able to hit Gliscor, Dragonite, and Garchomp. So the four times effective mods, you can hit them for a four times effective or super effective move. And then Fire Fang is cool because it gives you an option versus Scizor. Again, another four times effective or super effective move to hit Scizor with. Unfortunately, Luxray lacks sewer power in this game, which is something it had before, which was great for Steel types. Uh, and I guess if you wanted to slash anything, you could potentially use Crunch, but I think that you want the Elemental Fangs as well as Wild Charge and Facade. It just kind of sucks that this mod doesn't have stronger base power moves. Like Wild Charge should definitely be, they need a buff Wild Charge. 90 base power is not enough. And Ice Fang and Fire Fang, they're already too weak as well. But again, you can run Adamant or Jolly, depending if you want to run uh, Jolly. It allows you to at least speed tie with Breloom's, which is pretty cool if they're Jolly. Um, but it's uh, honestly just up to you what you want to do. For the most part, you're going to be picking Wild Charge and Facade anyway. So the next set we have is a Choice Scarf set. You could also, I guess, run Choice Ban on this if you wanted to. But Luxury does have the Intimidate ability. And also, I just want to note, like, Guts and uh, Intimidate are both really nice abilities. Uh, don't use Rivalry. It's not worth it. Basically what Rivalry does is this Pokemon attacks do 1.25 times on the same gender targets or 0.75 times on opposite gender. So basically if you're attack if you're a male Luxray and you're attacking a female, you do less damage. And uh, if you're a male Luxray and you're attacking a male, you do a little bit more. But it, it's it's only 1.25 times whereas a guts boost is 1.5 times and there's no drawback, right? Besides maybe the 6% burn damage. But I'd rather do that than have, be weaker. So don't use Rivalry. Rivalry is just a bad ability, I think, on all Pokemon. Unless you can guarantee that your opponent's Pokemon are all going to be male or female, don't use that ability. But uh, yeah, so the Intimidate is cool because um, with that, plus coupled with Volt Switch, you can actually use uh, Luxray to pivot. But a Choice Scarf gives it, uh, it's 262 speed, it actually gives it a little bit of a boost, putting it up to uh, 394 at level 100. Which is pretty cool because now you're faster than Pokemon like Latios, Weavile, Alakazam, and you can deal with them, uh, at least uh, Alakazam and Weavile. Uh, 
because of the Intimidate for Weavile, you'll actually be doing, uh, you'll be tanking their hits better, and you'll be knocking out Alakazam with Wild Charge. Uh, you have Volt Switch for the momentum, while you're not a special attacker, Volt Switch is really cool too, because if you think your opponent's going to switch, if they have a Water type out, you can go for Volt Switch and get momentum, bring out your other Pokemon, depending on what they're going to bring out. And then you have Ice Fang and Fire Fang. I think because you are faster than Garchomp and Dragonite and stuff, you might as well put Ice Fang just because you can hit them for a solid 2 at KO. And then Fire Fang is mainly there just to hit Scizor. However, if you want to, you could also put Crunch, that way you can uh, outspeed and deal with the Gengars as well. But uh, yeah, that's just the one way to use Luxray. Like I said, this could be Choice Band too. I think Guts is way better than Choice Band, personally, just because the Facade, facade is actually a good move, otherwise your moves are relatively weak. Uh, but that's up to you. The last one we have is a cool way for like lower tiers maybe, if your team is weak to Rain Dance, Kabutops, or like, you know, Swift Swim Kabutops under Rain. Uh, if your team is weak to flying types like Crobat or whatever other flying types they have down there, you can use a physically defensive Intimidate Luxray. And with its um, Intimidate as well as its pretty decent base 80 HP and base 79 defense, which is about average, I would say, uh, maybe slightly below average, um, you can get off that Intimidate, you can lower their attacks. That's like Crobat's Brave Birds, you're going to struggle off. U turns, you're going to struggle off too. Now, unfortunately, while this thing does have 95 base special attack, it doesn't really have the best special move pool. But I do like Discharge on this set because not only are you able to take the physical attacks, but it's also, it's better versus like things like Kabutops 1. Um, because it's going to hit them harder because they have worse special defense. Uh, also, you can get para uh, Paralysis, Paralysis, uh, excuse me, Paralysis. You can get uh, Paralysis on your opponents. Um, then you have Protect. Protect is there because coupled with Leftovers, you can get an extra turn of recovery because this Pokemon lacks recovery. I like Roar as well because this Mon can live even like a plus one Dragonite's Earthquake due to Intimidate, and you can phase it out with Roar or set up Mons if they try and set up. And your last move is Volt Switch, Thunder Wave, or Light Screen. Usually Toxic would be something you would see here, but because Luxray doesn't currently have access to Toxic in this meta, uh, it doesn't learn it via TM, unfortunately, because they decided to take that away from a lot of Pokemon for whatever reason. Maybe in Pokemon Home, if they do like the trade backs or callbacks or whatever, they're a lot you do that. But um, you put either Volt Switch or Momentum, Thunder Wave if you want to guarantee paralyze them, or maybe Light Screen to support your team. Uh, another option, I guess, is potentially Ice Fang or Facade if you want to be able to deal with other types like Ground types, for instance. But this is just a more defensive way of using Luxray and, you know, in the lower tiers, maybe as like a physical wall. So the next Pokemon we have is one of my favorite, and this is one of my favorite sets for Rose Raid, and this is Lead Rose Raid. So this is Focus Sash, Rose Raid, Timid, Max Special Attack, Max Speed. Rose Raid has an incredible Special Attack stat, a good Special Defense stat, and a pretty decent Speed stat. So with the Focus Sash, you're guaranteed able to live a hit, and the idea behind this set is to live a hit, potentially be faster than your opponent, either put them to sleep and get up hazards. So... Uh, on this set, you're going to definitely have Leaf Storm and Sludge Bomb. Leaf Storm is your strongest move. It hits incredibly hard. With a Focus Sash, you'll be living most hits. So with a Leaf Storm, if they're like not, let's say if you have an Azelf lead versus you and they're not Sash Azelf, and they try and Psychic you, they bring you down your Sash, you hit them with a Leaf Storm, you knock them out. Sludge Bomb is there. You're faster than Pokemon like Breloom and Fairy types. Gives you some good coverage versus Opposing Grass. And then Sleep Powder is your move. Uh, you can either run Sleep Powder and Spikes or Toxic Spikes and Spikes. It kind of is up to what your team needs. Uh, the combination of Sleep Powder plus Spikes is now legal. This is something that back in Generation 4, the original Diamond and Pearl, was not legal. You could only use Sleep Powder plus Toxic Spikes. So if you wanted to use Spikes, you have to use Spikes plus Toxic Spikes or no Sleep Powder. But yeah, Sleep Powder can be one of your options. You can also run Spikes if you want double Spikes. Uh, basically, if you want Toxic Spikes plus Spikes. I know I'm saying Spikes a lot, but you see it on your screen, right? The Slashes are kind of whatever you want to make it. Whatever helps your team out. Do you think Toxic Spikes will help your team more? Do you think Spikes damage will help your team more? It's really up to you. Uh, Natural Cure can also be Poison Point if you really want to, just because um, it could be cool for like U-turns from Lead Infernape. Maybe you can Poison them, potentially. Uh, you'll live their hit because of your Focus Sash. Next up, we have Black Sludge Defensive Rose Raid. Now, there are a lot of slashes here. Let me explain. So, Rose Raid is really good defensive typing versus like water types and also it absorbs toxic spikes. So, it can take on a lot of uh, special moves from water types and uh, shoot, even like certain ice types on the special side it can eat hit from. But uh, max HP just to max out that bulk because we are going calm nature, which is a plus special defense nature. Uh, we want to max out our bulk as well. So, so we can switch into Hydro Pumps plus like. Uh, we can live a Hydro Pump plus like an Ice Beam from Starmie. We can even potentially live a Hydro Pump plus Psychic depending on the Starmie uh, spread and item. But Black Sludge is there for recovery. It's basically the leftovers of Poison types. I, it's my favorite item. 
Um, so I always put it on poison types. There's like something like, oh, somebody tricks you, you can give them a black sludge, but then that's bad because they can trick it back, whatever. That was like some nonsense that people used to say back in the day. You can run black sludge, you can run leftovers. I like black sludge because if they get tricked, you know, they, they get, uh, if someone tries to trick you, they get your black sludge and they start hurting themselves if they're not poison type. The 96 speed allows you to outspeed Adamant Breloom, so you can deal with them via Sludge Bomb, since you will be able to outspeed Adamant Breloom and knock them out via Sludge Bomb. You almost always want to go Natural Cure on a defensive Rose Raid. Uh, this allows you just to sponge up Thunder Waves and will o from Pokemon like Rotom Wash, for instance, and then get it back, you know, be healed when you switch back in. Um, and the set is Giga Drain and Sludge Bomb. I think both are a given. Uh, because of Rose Raid's poison typing, you can even switch in multiple times, like on Clefairy, and, uh, and you'll live like flamethrowers from Clefairy, Clefable, excuse me, as well as the Moonblast will do nothing, and you can threaten them with a Sludge Bomb for a two hit KO. Uh, so, and Giga Drain also gives you recovery while going for it too. If you wanted a stronger option, Energy Bars there. And now, either Spikes or Toxic Spikes. Again, depending on what your team needs, I like spiking with this particular set because of the longevity, and I like I like the the damage I can do to opposing Pokemon with Spikes with that. But Toxic Spike is great too. And then your last move, as you can see, I got a lot of slashes. To be honest, you can run double spikes if you really want to. But Synthesis is there if you want the 50% heal. Unfortunately, they like shafted Rose Ray. Like it has um it has the technician ability, but doesn't really have moves that really want to use it. It got they got rid of hidden power, uh, at least on Rose Raid. And hidden power being base 60 used to be base 90 because of technician, and it'd be like basically another stab move, right? Like hidden power, fire, and ice used to be incredible. Uh, there's also no weather ball for Rose Raid right now, so you don't have the fire move or ice move depending on the re or water move depending on the weather uh, you're running Rose Raid in. So you're basically confined to Giga Drain plus Sludge Bomb for coverage, and there are a few other options we'll talk about on the last set. But since so this is there for recovery, uh, sleep powder is potentially an option too. Maybe you want to put opponents to sleep before setting up hazards. Aromatherapy, if your team needs a cleric, maybe your team is not only do you want Rosa to be able to take status, but you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the team. So aromatherapy is good to heal not only yourself, but your teammates. And then there's also leech seed as an option. And leech seed allows you to catch something upon switching and just wear them down, right? For example, Heatran is something that can easily come in on Rose Raid or any fire, well, not any fire type. Heatran is probably the best one just because it's fire and steel. Like most other fire types don't, like Sludge Bomb 2 KO is Inferno type of thing. So you don't want, you want to be careful about that. But uh, Leech Seed allows you to hit potentially Heatran upon switching. And now you're actually doing damage to it because you're getting that recovery turn per turn. You can switch out to something else. Maybe they go for a fire move as you go out to a water type. And not only have you hit, he tried what maybe spikes damage and it switched in, but now they have the leech seed recovery and you're just canceling out its recovery and healing up your team at the same time. So it kind of just depends on what you want to do. Now the last set is an offensive rose raid. We call this choice rose raid. You can run either choice scarf or choice specs. If you're running choice scarf, I advise leaf storm, sludge bomb, and sleep powder, period. Right? You want your strongest grass type attack. You want your strongest poison type attack. And you want sleep powder because a fast sleep powder is really, really good because if you're in front of a Pokemon that could be a threat, for instance, a Dragonite that's not Lumberry and you're scared of it setting up, you can go for Sleep Powder. If you land 75%, you can put that Pokemon to sleep and not have to worry about it. Now, the last moves kind of depend on you. Uh, I also kind of like uh, Spikes. Regardless, it's okay. I know you're locked into a move. It doesn't matter. Um, obviously, Choice Scarf boosting your speed. Choice Specs boosting your special attack. On Choice Scarf sets, I don't mind Spike either because Rose Ray does force certain switches on Pokemon like Brillin, for instance. They're going to switch out. Uh, so you can go for a spike as they switch out into maybe their steel type to, to take the poison type attack coming out. Dazzling Gleam is also an option. and This gives you a cool little way of um, 2 it KOing Pokemon like uh, Dragonite, Latios, Latias, but also hitting uh, dark types in the process as well. Like if you want to, if you need to hit like a combination of like Garchomp plus another dragon plus like Crawdon plus uh, like anything like that, right? Uh, you can do something like Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam is a decent option. You also have Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is a cool option too for the Lotties as well as um, for the Lotties as well as uh, Gengar. Gengar is a pretty cool one because you can live a Shadow Ball from. You can even switch into Gengar. You can live a Shadow Ball and then deal with it and then do Shadow Ball back and be faster if you choice Scarf or Extra Sensory. Extra Sensory is another option for Gengar, but also maybe if you're playing in a lower tier, it's also a good option for Toxic Oak, which otherwise resists your stabs. So again, depending on you, if you guys want to run Choice Specs or Choice Scarf, um, Choice Specs obviously boosting your special attack, whereas Choice Scarf boosting your speed. I know there's a lot of options here. I like Poison Point as well. You could go Natric here, depending uh, on whatever 
fits you best but i just wanted to give you guys a lot of options and kind of just give you the three pokemon that were asked about so i hope you guys all enjoyed if you did of course make sure you leave a like subscribe if you are new to the channel and i think that's uh, that's basically it check out my merch if you want to and i will see you guys in uh, a shuttle live later today goodbye my friends